Yeah, Councillor Cox, uh, midge control measures happening down here at Karamundi Lake. Three important reasons why Council's undertaking this. Well, first of all, we need to look at the uh, environmental effects. Um, secondly is, is obviously the social, and that includes the residents and their uh, ability to tolerate the, uh, the biting midge this um, coming spring and summer months, as well as looking at the economic um, impacts that it could have on the, uh, the local businesses here, as well as the, uh, the holiday apartments and the like. So when we look at these measures, we do undertake a, a triple bottom line assessment, and uh, certainly that's why Council's intervening at the moment to uh, prevent that significant sort of midge hatch in the uh, coming months. Look, people who don't live around these parts might sort of look at what we're doing and wonder why we're going to these measures, but uh, you would know, I guess as well as anyone, that, that uh, for residents and businesses here, midges can be a real problem. Oh, certainly. A anyone that's prone to uh, being bitten by the midges, they, they do sort of create a bit of a sting, and it's that irritation that lingers for quite a few days afterwards as well. So I have seen young children uh, suffer, you know, significant sort of irritation, uh, some of the older population as well and uh, there are certain types of um, from what I understand blood types people with uh, those blood types that uh, attract the uh, the midge bites so yeah for the, for those people uh, what we're doing is certainly going to make their summer a bit more enjoyable